What's up, fishing fam? We're bringing back one of our classics, and this is test tank time. But we're going to do a sockeye blade showdown. I'm really excited for this one because it is something right now for you guys to really utilize and understand what we got going with these massive sockeye runs that we have to get out, see what your stuff's truly doing in the water and be able to leverage that for catching some fish. So let's break down what we got in front of us. We have left to right some really cool popular blades you probably already have or are using on the boat. We're gonna take a look at a spinning glow from Yakima Bait, a carnivore blade, a wild wing, A shaker wing. Probably the most known of all of these. A smile blade. And then a butterfly blade. There. And what we're going to do, keeping this all the same, we're going to use this generic sockeye two hook rig, couple beads as bearings and we're gonna go put them in the test tank here and we're gonna show you guys exactly how this looks in the water i've turned it down as low as it'll go so hopefully we'll get some of the most realistic speeds like you would be for trolling but i can already tell you i notice a few different things with these blade designs that's going to help you in the water how they fish and some that are really versatile to add some other things as well now, before we jump into this, tell me if you guys have any of these up here that are your favorites in the comment section, and if you have any others that I might be missing. Let's check out the first one here, the Spinning Glow. The Spinning Glow, while known for plunking mostly, is a fantastic trolling lure for kokanee, and in this case, sockeye. In the sizes 14 and 12 that we're showing here, this is an awesome way with a little coon shrimp to catch some sockeye. The carnivore blade, definitely a unique style. Harder to find nowadays as Jerry made some awesome blades with this design. I've caught a lot of fish, but it has a unique thump with that single side. Really does well. Then you got wild wings by Hawken. These are a great, really defined spinner blade for the bearing bead that it has. You can see a faster spin on these, works really well. I have found uh, something new that I'm trying out and really like how they look in the water. So definitely one that'll catch a lot of fish if you can find those in your local area. And then you got the Smile Blade, one of the most well-known and versatile blades on the market. Absolutely cannot go wrong using these things. Works so well in so many different conditions. Then you got the Butterfly Blade. Something newer that I had not played around with, but let me tell you, this spins like a top in the water and is phenomenal with a little bit of bait behind it. And lastly, we got the Moneymaker Shaker Wing. This one needs a little bit bigger space than the little tank allows for to get the wobble action in full. So I pulled some old footage of the Shaker Wing in action with a big fish following it. Pretty freaking cool there just to see what comes out of those few different blade options that's out there. And those are just more or less the standard sizes, right? Size 12 and 14 spinning glows. These are some hard to find carnivore blades, but I really like the wobble on those. Same thing with these. They are a little more wider than the test tank can showcase, but these shaker wings really displace a big wobble and create a side to side. First time I've ever tried these butterfly blades. Have a very tight, nice wobble with those. Really like that. The wild wings as well have a great spin. Good bearing style bead to really spin fast. And then you got your OG Max Smile Blade. And what's great about these flat ones is that you guys can bend them based upon a faster turn that you want maybe it's based on speed and current you need a little bit faster or slower flatten it out 
So it really allows you versatility with a few different options. And then sizes, right? Here's your normal, regular size. I want to say this is a... Yep, 1.1 in the Glow Burst color. That's a small 0.8. Two great sizes to think about for the Smile Blades. This is a size zero of the Wild Wings. Size one is what we showed testing there. This is one of the regular size Shaker Wings. And then we have one of the micro ones there. And lastly, you got a size 12 spinning glow, perfect, just to add some different stuff. You tell me below, what do you guys think? What's your favorite? Am I missing something? One of the best sockeye runs on the Columbia River ever had is going on right now. These will help you catch fish there. Take these up to Baker Lake, go catch some monster fish at Baker. And just around the corner, we should be getting ourselves a Lake Wenatchee sockeye season. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to rig up some of these as well in some of my favorite rigs. But in the current time, I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit on how these actually work in the water so you know what you're buying. And let me tell you, they all catch fish. So can't really go wrong, but hopefully you guys take something away to see how that goes. Now, if you want to see exactly how to get some shrimp put on these bait rigs, check out the video playing right now, and we'll catch you on the water. Sockeye's time. Fish on!